So how do I do this? This is ultra art. You use fine art acrylics and mix in different amounts of ultraviolet pigments. Like for the dark blue, uh -huh. it's only half fluorescent blue and the other half is non-fluorescent dark blue of acrylic paint. And then you add more fluorescent and more to get a lighter shade down in. And to arrange them so that they actually swirl forward uh -huh. and have a depth within the swirl, uh -huh. I had to keep my mind conscious of which color was going to be in the front oh. and which was going to be in the middle and back uh -huh. by how much yellow or orange or red was in it. All of my projects contain an element of science, either in the, the message or the technique. Your name is? I'm Barbara. Barbara. Tom. Hi. So how do I do this? This is ultra art. You use fine art acrylics and mix in different amounts of ultraviolet pigments. Like for the dark blue, uh -huh. it's only half fluorescent blue and the other half is non-fluorescent dark blue of acrylic paint. And then you add more fluorescent and more to get a lighter shade down into it. So this actual paint is fluorescent paint. Right. And, and actual paint that's normal and doesn't fluoresce, uh -huh. and it's half and half that makes the gray and the brown. Increasingly more as it go down. Yes, and so the brown would be 50% non-fluorescent and 50% bright orange, mixing down to a brown color in the, in the rocks, where the yellow and orange of the lava is full bright. A lot of them. Yes. For the 3D, all you need to do is have blue in the back, green and orange in the middle and red on the front. Oh. And then it goes 3D. What fun. Oh my lord. <laughs> it actually works, huh? It actually works. Oh, I love it. What fun. So that's because of having a fluorescent paint? Actually, this can work without fluorescent paint, but it works more than twice as much with it. Wow, that's amazing. That's really fun. Oh, I like it both ways. Thank you. This is, this is fun. Yes, and, and to arrange them so that they actually swirl forward uh -huh. and have a depth within the swirl, uh -huh. I had to keep my mind conscious of which color was going to be in the front oh. and which was going to be in the middle and back uh -huh. by how much yellow or orange or red was in it. So it's the science to it. Very much scientific, science. yes. Yeah, that's how it works. It does come out that way. All of my projects contain an element of science, either in the, the message or 
the I technique. I have come up with a science theory that explains everything. You have? Mm-hmm. It's this. Energy, evolution, infinity is all there is. I would say there's energy and infinity. Mm -hmm. Oh, well that's because it takes a while for a person's mind to learn what I call fractal logic, which I have written in the bottom of the page. And that means seeing everything as flowing. All energy flows, and as it does, it runs into something else, right? So when the energy comes along and touches something else, it has to go around it and it separates into two and that's branching and that's simple physics for everything everywhere and that's why the word evolution isn't about so much which animal came from which but this uh -huh. pattern everywhere always I see how you, okay, then that makes sense Oh, I just love it, he's, he's fabulous, he can do anything Nothing like this. He's one of a kind. He's definitely got so many different ways of expressing, you know, his creativity. It's just uh, I think that they're amazing. fascinating. And I think what's, um, you know, art is good when it compels you to keep looking at it and that you can always find something else in it, something that's um, not just for the eye, but for the mind to dwell on. about. the one with the chair. This work is fascinating. Is it the first time that you've seen No, I've seen it before, but I'm seeing more of this work. Because this is very interesting stuff. Put it together. You are the winner, huh? Yeah, he is. Oh, You like his board? Yeah. Ah, I feel so lucky. Yeah, it's a beautiful piece. And it's done by Tom. I love it. <laughs> it's going, it has to go it's going home to a really wonderful happy house. So there is a beautiful piece. Yeah, Oh, it's a person in the middle. Psychedelic construction. Is that you? Yes. <laughs>